All right, so the Mi 11X, the Poco F3 and the Redmi K40. One device, three names, and we are talking about a custom ROM that is doing a great job on the Poco X3 Pro. And it has come to this particular device as a stable variant. We are talking about Derpfest, which I've been testing since yesterday. I've installed it, I've played around with the user interface, I've charged it, discharged it, and I've also ran a few benchmarks. Something that I've not tried yet is gaming. Maybe at a later stage we will do that. But in today's video, we are going to look at the complete review of Dubfest table based on Android 12 for the Mi 11X. And before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it really motivates us to make amazing content like this and it doesn't cost you anything. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1400 people over there. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash, let's get going. Right, so let's see what we have here. Dubfist ROM S Elliot official, Dubfist 12 Xeon official Android 12 stable. Now, the screenshots and the change log. Change log is what we're interested in. Change kernel to HyperX. This is my first, you know, encounter with HyperX. So we'll see how that goes. Fix lock screen charging info. Initialize high touch polling rate support. That is 180 Hz touch sampling rate. Now the source change log is long, so we're not going to see that. Now note says G apps included. Safety net passes by default. SE Linux status is enforcing. Now I have been telling this again and again again and again that Android 12 based custom ROMs for this particular device are splendid as far as smoothness is concerned. The moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will see how you have very, very clean UI, a very clean UI. Monet doing a great job. Now it's working on the Google search bar as well at the bottom. Very, very few icons to the left. You have the beautiful Google feed with in all its 120 Hertz glory works smooth as butter. Now the top of the Google feed also goes ahead and gives you an accent of the Monet UI. So if you press and hold over here, you have home settings for your, which launcher is this? Derp launcher by Derpfest. Okay. So yeah, it, why did it quit on me? Let's go to home settings again. You have notification dots at a glance show now playing all these customization options. So their launcher does have quite a lot of customization. You do have your Android 12 widgets which are present and they're working absolutely fine. And then you have your wallpaper and style. And if you click over here, you do see that you have these derp wallpapers in uh, the curated culture theming system and with monet ui they are doing a brilliant job they work absolutely fine even if you swipe from the top to bottom you do have these quick tiles which are working absolutely great so just look at this this is everything that you have swipe once you get the battery life until what time it lasts you get wi-fi calling indicator you get the date and time and stuff and then if you expand further you get more details so that's something really really neat if you talk about the multitasking menu it is butter smooth works absolutely fine you have screenshot which works great and expanded screenshot is working fine as well if you press over here you do have app info once again app info let's see here you do have split screen so that works great as well Right now, as far as the quick tiles are concerned, you do have a screen recorder. You can record internal and external audio. You can show touches on the screen, show stop dot, lower quality, start the screen recording. Let's wait for the recording to start and we will see if we have any stutters or jitters over here. Nope. So Android 12 ROMs for the Mi 11X are doing a splendid job, especially when they call it stable. I've had no random reboots. I've had no stutters or jitters. Let's go ahead and stop the screen recording here. Okay, let's go ahead and play this and see how good the quality is. Stutters or jitters over here? No. So Android 12 ROMs for the Mi 11X are doing a splendid job, especially when they call it stable. I've had no random reboots. Okay, a little disappointment over here that the screen recorder did record everything fine, including the audio, but the recording is laggy. So you might want to use a third party screen recorder when you're doing this, but you do have torch and all the other options, just like any other custom ROM. If you go to the edit menu, it's, it's just fluid. These ROMs are so fluid for this device. I don't know how they're doing this magic. Although, you know, the Snapdragon 870 is powerful. You have to remember that. You have, you have heads up and all these things available. So some sort of customization is there. I don't really see a FPS info tile option over here, which is always a welcome thing. I don't know why people keep forgetting that. 
anyways so you know the screen is doing a great job no stutters no jitters this rom doesn't boot with any bloatware it boots very very bare bones there is google camera go available which does a splendid job of capturing pictures so if you don't have access to you know gcam apk you can make do with this no problems there now if you actually dive into settings over here you go to about phone and you go to the android version you will see that this is the first version 12 this is the you know maintainer pokorni 72 i don't know what that that's a weird name anyways november security patch we still don't have the december security patch se linux status enforcing hyperx kernel doing a great job right now moving on let's talk about something that is important not the android 12 features you've been seeing that forever we will talk about derp space this is a customization menu which is available in this particular custom rom and it allows you to customize things which are not available in stock android so you have a ton of customization available for battery settings then you have carrier label customization you do have clock and date customization you can also keep the clock in the right or left it's completely up to you then you have status bar items you can disable or enable them then you have traffic indicators they are present and they are working absolutely fine you do have miscellaneous you can also put a dubfest logo over here if you are really obsessed with this particular rom but yes you do have a ton of customization here moving on you do have customization for your quick settings now see the amount of customization that android 12 roms have gotten in such a short amount of time and these customization options are working absolutely fine so i'm i'm quickly going to play around with all the customizations and see what happens over here so bluetooth bam doesn't that look great yeah so these things are beautiful they work great lock screen shortcuts and then you have a customization for lock screen ui moving on you have battery charging light you can go ahead and make changes to that and then under customization you can override the monet ui as well and then you have two step icon and all the other things now if you go to settings and you further go to apps okay you do have something called as game space which allows you to disable heads up disable automatic brightness and disable swipe screenshot right so let's see here we have not enabled swipe screenshot so let's actually go to system let's go to gestures swipe screenshot and let's go to the main menu of settings over here and let's select capture more drag this so expanded screenshot is working like a boss absolutely fine no problem whatsoever if you go to the battery section you don't really see the option of thermal profiles but if you launch a app which has game mode enabled you will see over here that you have a android 12 like screen recorder and stuff so you have screenshot screen recording and settings over here you can disable the heads up and you can enable the performance mode and all sorts of things so the game space is present it is doing a great job and overall if you ask me about the ram management of this particular rom it is splendid nothing to worry there now let's quickly go ahead and talk about the important aspects of this particular rom for example safety net safety net passes by default if you go to the play store and you go to settings and you go to about device is certified so nothing to worry there if you go to drm info you have wideband l1 certification so your financial applications and transactions are safe you have your amazon prime hd content working fine as well so now let's quickly have a look at the benchmarks over here so if we go to google photos for a screenshot that's a screen recording so cpu throttle to 89% of its max performance and 246818 gips average and 259809 highest so that's a very good score even if you go to geekbench over here and you go to the historical scores you will see that it has 868 single core and 3139 multi core so that's a decent score although not as fast or powerful as the stock rom if you talk about antutu well you do have 640847 so even this score is less so all in all dub fest for me in the 24 to 48 hours that i've used it i've not had any problem it looks like a great rom it does have a lot of customization it can give you decent battery life and as far as the charging speed is concerned you do see it charged 44% in 41 minutes on the 33 watt charger so all in all brilliant rom good job on the poco x3 pro and on the mi 11x highly recommended you can give it a try let me know in the comment section what you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care bye bye